Hi, my friend, it's Pat Sloan here in the Sloan Zone. <laughs> so we have a lot of fun things. It is the next block for Will You Be My Neighbor? And it's the one I get to sew again, which means there's like five blocks left for my quilt to be finished. And I'm excited to do that. I even wore polka dots for the occasion. <laughs> You'll see that if you forgot what it looks like. It's got a lot of polka dots on it. Uh, but we also have a sneak peek today. I have some stuff to tell you that's coming up. And... Uh, Midnight Moon. Okay, so I need to take it off the wall. This is where I really wish I had two design walls because if I did, I could just leave this up, but I don't. So that means I've got things going on that I need to work on. So I have to put this aside for a little bit. I had kind of hoped I would have gotten it done by the end of August, but that's not gonna happen. Um, so it'll be sometime in September because I still have a lot of sashings to do. I decided, do you remember that sort of block gone wrong the bad boy block <laughs> why well, remade it so that it's not quite so it cockeyed <laughs> it was a mess so i remade that one and i have all of these extra special sashings made for the small block so all the small blocks are ready and you can see here on the wall there we go Ta-da! so cool i did shift a few things around i pulled the i pulled the candy corn up here i pulled the pumpkin in i left the bat out on the side because even after remaking it it's very weighty it has a lot of weight to it and i'm okay with that i may actually like even switch it down to be lower like a lower right um visually but i'm okay with that guy so that means uh, every single other block, all the medium blocks, all the large blocks still need a frame around them or a sashing, I'm calling them. Uh, and then after that, you set the blocks side by side so they get their own individual uh, sashing. So I think what I'm going to do is, I, I could do this two ways. So because I have, it's the same sashings for all the mediums, the same ones for all the large. So I could just stack them, the large and the medium blocks together so that I could easily sew all that on, which is really would be the smart thing to do because I also need to put them by their background color, background fabric, because some have a black dot, some have a gray dot, some have the scattered uh, Halloween dot. Here they are. So there's, and some have the big dot, uh, so all of these need, uh, you know, need the sashing that goes with them. That's the way I'm approaching it, the way the book approached it. So in order to make this efficient, I really should stack the mediums and then sort them together. So all of the black dots, all of the big dots, etc. That's, that's what I'll do. What I'd like to do is just sort of keep them in order, although the order's in the book, so it doesn't really matter. I'll take a picture to see where I put it. I'll end up switching a th few things anyway, so ultimately that's what I'm going to do. I have this tray that goes in the rolling cart, which has the fabrics. These fabrics here can now go away because all the small ones are done, so I really just need the backgrounds, and I'll probably just put all the blocks in here, and then that maybe what I'll do then is free up my project tote because I've got more projects coming so that'll free that up. So what I'm going to do is talk about some other things before I take this down because then I want to put Be My Neighbor up. So we'll do some other things I have on the list here. <sighs> Fun things. Okay, if you read the title of the video, you saw Where is Norm? <laughs> I sent Norm off on a trip and he is going to visit some of our friends. Uh, <laughs> and he has arrived at his first location. And so I want to give you a little sneak peek. Here's the first one. And when I give you the second sneak peek, the rest of you are going to figure out what's going on. <laughs> so here's the second sneak peek. He is out visiting uh, Kendall Taylor, who is one of our ambassadors and lives in Melbourne, Australia. So uh, Norm had to take a long sea journey or flight, however you want to think about it, over to Australia and he is visiting over there and there are some grand surprises. I'm going to show you over the next few days and you will also uh, be able to go visit Kendall at his YouTube channel so you could see uh, Norm visiting his studio. <laughs> And then after that, Norm will be coming back to the United States to do an, uh, a little more visiting around. So he's uh, a bunch of different places to go. 
<sighs> so fun. You have to think, where is Norm? <laughs> And I'll be giving you little sneak peeks and hints as we as we go along. It's going to be a ton of fun. And of course, there is a pattern for Norm and Nanette, and you can get that pattern and make a Norm. You can make one, you can make a couple. They're just so much fun. All right, so that is the cool thing for today. Oh, let's do the in the news. So I have an in the news, which is a quote from Ukraine. So I had an email from Lynn in the UK and she in the Oxfordshire Modern Quilt Guild made this version of the Ukraine quilt to collect donations uh, for Ukraine. Isn't it fantastic? Then they entered it in the festival of quilts that ran in the UK this past weekend. They came in second place for a group quilt. And that is just so awesome. So many more people got to see the message, uh, hear about the donations. Uh, and one of our other friends that's in the UK, Julie, spotted the quilt hanging in the show. So here it is hanging in the show. This is Julie's photo. She shared it over in our Facebook group, Quilt Along with Pat Sloan. How small a world we have, right? and quilters helping others is the very best. So I just love that uh, Lynn and her fellow uh, quilters made this and that Julie got to see it. Mwah! It's awesome. All right, I have a mail call. So this came in the mail from Connie in Florida. I had to get a basket out. Connie sent me a whole bunch of selvages. Isn't that fabulous? Look, there's one, lots of hearts. Ah, oh, so good, so good. Thank you, Connie. All right, there's a few projects coming up. We're gonna talk about those because I want you to be sure that you get in on them and you don't miss out, you know, because you don't want to have you miss it out on all the fun. That's no good. All right, we have in uh, October, is there anything before I'm gonna talk? Yes, yeah, September, let's do September 1st. So we're going to do Promise Me my fabric line. We're going to do a sew along with my fabric line, promise me, and there'll be two different quilts you can pick from. You can make them both if you want, of course, but uh, one is uh, from Among the Stars, which is all different blocks. Here's another version on the back, has this fabulous border on it. Um, and then here's a picture of it mocked up in Promise Me. There might be a few kits of that left. Um, you need the book. And then the other one, for those of you who like repeat blocks, there's so many of you who really enjoy doing a repeat block, you don't want to do a sampler. Uh, so if you have my fabric, promise me, you can do the free pattern. And so that's what this one looks like. Uh, so those are the two, getting assignments and walking through doing the, you know, getting the blocks, any tips uh, for specific things I'll show you on them. Uh, the free one is very simple, so that's really fun. It's an easy, easy sew. Uh, you can sew it without using my fabric, of course. So if you would prefer to sew using your stash or some other fabric line that you've collected, please do so. You do not have to use Promise Me, but that's why we're running it. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's why we're sewing is to use my fabric and show it, but you can certainly use some other fabric. Okay, and that's in September. All right, what else do we have? In um, October, for the month of October to support breast cancer, we have the support group Sew Along, which are these really fun bras. And there's a needle minder, super cute, look at this. And there's even a cross stitch. So if you uh, wanna do the cross stitch version, that is, that is super darling. Uh, so you can have to get the pattern for this and then please make a donation. Who are they donating to? Do I have it down here? Um, I don't have it on here. It's like, um, there it's, it's an, I'll have it in the description box. It's the national breast cancer fund. I think it is, but these are super, super cute. A lot of fun. We'll be doing one row a week in October. Okay. So that's that guy. Then at the end of October is the Scrappiness is Happiness Sew Along with uh, Fat Quarter Shop and Lori Holt's book. And so here's the book, what's coming. And that starts Halloween, I believe, October 30th. Uh, so that will be super fun. I am going to be using a fabric collection that came out from my friend Bev. So that's this one. And I am going to then add in from my stash. 
So that's my plan. I'm going to do it on a dark background and I'll tell you a little bit more about this uh, in another video, but I'm gonna do it a little because I don't have the fabric yet. That's coming too. <laughs> so it's hard on the bug, not the fabric on uh, this. Um, but I am going to use a dark background and uh, use a lot of lights. And then I'm gonna pull lights from my collection, you know, what I own already to add to it. So that'll be my scrappiness is happiness for that. And then in 2023, because if you're ordering, you might as well get the barn quilt uh, sample because we're gonna do the barn quilt sampler in 2023 with the Fat Quarter Shop as well. Uh, so if you're getting your books, you might as well pick that one up too. <laughs> Yay! All the fun, all the fun here. All right, let let me take all this down. Oh, it really pains me to take this down because I'm enjoying looking at it. I've had it up there for a couple days now, and um, you know, I just because I have some other projects I have to do, so I really need to to put it down for a couple of days and work on the other things. And maybe by next weekend, I can start cutting sashings and getting back to that one. So give me a few minutes and then we I'll have the, um, will you be my neighbor? That's what it's called, yes. <laughs> and, we'll play, and we'll make block number 12, yes. <laughs> Here's an empty wall. That came down a lot faster than it went up because when it went up, I was putting them in order. So here's the stacks. This stack is totally done. Look at that. I don't know, I think there's like 24 or something. So I have to do frame around these, frame around these. The next thing I'll do will be to sort them by background. So you can see here's the scattered dot, the bigger dot. Um, well, that one had a star. Uh, the, the more even black dot. And then I actually have that dot in gray somewhere. Oh, there they are, there's the gray one. So you can see the difference, the gray and the black. So that is the stack. And I think I'm going to go ahead and empty this and put these guys over here in the rolling cart tray. Those are the extra bat and extra pieces, um, candy corn that I made. And then the really wonky block part, which will go, they might go in the part center. Okay, so let's go ahead and fill this up. Here they are. Oh, I am so excited to make the block. This is the last block for the row, for the third row, and then I actually get to put the row together, which is also super cool. Uh, that also means I get rid of another blue bin. So I'm going to not put this in the bin with the um, all the fabric because that bin's like chopped up to the top. It's full, you're gonna see. But I can get this block on here, get this top done, and then I'll put it over in the other room. Um, and then I can free up a bin for the future projects because I need that. I don't need two bins for a project. Okay, so you see I have the dots on? <laughs> I need a top with bigger dots. So if anybody ever sees one out there, I have a, actually have a blouse, but I'm digressing. Okay, we're gonna go make this block. And I have to think about the colors because I did do some color planning. Here's like red, aqua, green, red. Green, red, aqua, red. So down here I've got an aqua, black, red. So that means I really need to focus on green like I did for here and here. So that's the fabric. I'm gonna look at the green fabrics I have to do this house with the double nine patch. Super cute. Okay, let's go to the back side. So all this time I have actually had two bins for this. Sometimes I actually had them in one of my big uh, metal picnic baskets uh, because I had collected a lot of fabric, more fabric than I needed, but I wanted the choices and I didn't wanna to have to go search them out again. And it's been really wasteful for me to have this bin with just the the finished you know waiting top in it so i'm very excited to free this bin up yes it is now going to be for other projects so let's take a look at what i have this bin is crammed to the top i mean really i have to push it to get it down like you know you can relate <laughs> maybe <laughs> so this is definitely the roof here is the pattern remember this is a free pattern you can download it today at my website and also there's a project page for it. So the roofs are always the polka dots uh, and then the background is this mini, 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 mini dot. Uh, so it's super tiny and it gives a sort of uh, light gray appearance, but it's actually a dot. So those are two of the, two of the fabrics. 
And now I have to pick a green. Okay, in this bin, I also have a piece of fusible because I think I'm going to, I think there's another bit of applique or I may add another bird. And I have an extra house which needs to go in the parts bin. So he doesn't need to be in here. Um, all right, so we're going to do green for definitely for these two blocks. And I've already used a couple of greens, so I don't need to use those ones again. Um, I'm, uh, let's see, I've used that one and this one. So those can actually go back in green folders. Now I've used a lot of the black version of this, and um, so I don't think I want to use this. I want it to be much more green like these are. So this is pretty. This is super pretty, and I've used it in some of the trees. So maybe I will go with that one, or um, here's one just with like snowflakes, and there's the words. The words is kind of nice. It's got the um, you know Christmassy kind of words, and then this one has like a tree, and this one has the same sort of feel of green as the others. But I'm actually leaning a bit towards giving it this print that has more personality in it. Uh, more, um, you know, it's got the little like Edelweiss flowers. So I think I'm going to use that. Then for the checkerboard, I want to use um, red and white. So I want to pick a white that has, f is fun. So I have this whole collection of white. Um, there's a the little toy soldiers. They would be super darling, wouldn't they, to put in the white squares if they're not too small. That's a, I'm cutting them two inch. He, they would be squishy in there. Um, I also have like the deer. Those would be cute. The peppermint, I'm just showing you a few of them. Uh, I like this one a lot. It reminds me as a kid, we would go skiing. And so I like that one. Uh, these have too much pattern, too much pattern. That's similar to the green. I don't want that. This has got some plain text. There's some pine cones. Don't want that. And I've already used this guy. So I think I'm going to use this one. And then the red will be also um, fairly tonal so that it doesn't compete. So the red, red part of the nine patch doesn't compete with this. So rather than using this, which has a lot of pattern, and this, which has a lot of pattern, maybe something like here's the a text print so that would be that would be nice it reads nice and solid um you know from a little bit of a distance but has a little texture and then there's one with different word you can re really read those words so one of those two i think will be it this is another cute one uh which has some dots that would also be that wouldn't be bad it would give it, no, I think I want to go with one of these. Okay, so what I'm going to do is cut these out uh, so that we have the, the next block, the last block of row three. I'm so excited. Here it is. So I, I love this green. I think that was great because these two nine patches have a really strong pop and I use just the little written text, which I've actually used in a bunch of the other blocks as well. Uh, and I like that it's just very distinct. It's very crisp. Uh, so let's see how it looks with the other ones. I think I'm giddy. I'm just giddy to see how it looks. And then I get to do row three and sew it together and sew it to the top. Ah. Uh. Oh, I think there might be a strip in, be in between here somewhere. There might be an, oh, there is one strip there. Maybe there's a strip on the other side. I have to look at the directions. Um, oh, look at that. Yeah. Let me just pull it up just a little bit. And this, uh, being repeating is good. Like this green was used here in the tree and up in a tree up there and a tree over here. So I really like that repeat part. Uh, so, so cute. Okay. There you go, my friend. You are on block 12 of Will You Be My Neighbor? <laughs> and now that you've seen where Norm is visiting, he's off with Kendall. You want to be sure to um, go and subscribe to Kendall's YouTube channel because he does lots of great tutorials over there. Okay, I love you. Mwah. Thank you for being here in the Sloan Zone. <laughs> I will see you online. Bye-bye.